from Washington, D.C. It's The Cube, covering Oracle Cloud World. Brought to you by Oracle. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Washington, D.C. for a special presentation of Oracle Cloud World, hashtag Cloud World. This is Silicon Angle's The Cube. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier. My co-host Dave Vellante, and our next guest, Sohan Demel, who's the Vice President of Product Strategy and Business Development uh, on the product side at Oracle. Welcome to The Cube. Thank you, John. So you're in charge of a lot of the products on the software side, exit data, all the good stuff that's been going on. You guys have a great set of products that have great leadership positions. Now with the journey of the cloud end to end, same code base, on-prem, off-prem, now the public, the cloud machine, which is public, hybrid, and private, coming into the data center is pretty compelling. How does that affect Exadata and all these other products, and how does that all come together? So John, first of all, cloud at customer is interesting for three primary reasons. First of all, customers won't have requirements around security, data sovereignty, data residency compliance, and they're sometimes hesitant to put their data in the cloud. With cloud at customer, that issue goes away. Secondly, a lot of Oracle customers have interdependent backend systems. These are not isolated environments. They have, they're intricately linked with other systems. So trying to lift and shift that to the cloud is very complex. And therefore, having it presented at customer they can preserve those internal integrations across the interdependent systems. So cloud at customer, you're bringing the cloud to the customer. Correct. On premise. On premises. Because of the, the complicated back end, because they're running production workloads. They're running right? production workloads. So we want to present customers the simplicity of cloud with the payment model, the operating model of cloud in their data center. Okay, so let's talk about Exadata, but very popular on premise. How does that fit into the cloud computing model? Because that's a really integral part of a lot of the operations. Obviously, if the performance is high, you get kudos for that. But more importantly, the data's on there. All that stuff's going on in Exadata now. How does that fit into the cloud? Well, first of all, Exadata has been a tremendous platform, database platform for us. Most of our top customers run Exadata today. It's kind of a global standard for databases. And what we're doing here is we have Exadata in the public cloud today and we are giving customers that same experience, that same simplicity, that same payment model, the same operating model, the same software, which is completely portable across now at customer and public cloud in their data center. So I asked Mark Hurd a question two months ago when I had my interview with him. It's up on YouTube, search Mark Hurd, Oracle, The Cube. And I asked him, is there going to be a long tail distribution of clouds? And he's like, no, no, it's all one cloud, but there's different use cases, different, and it serves a lot of different personas. CMOs, CXOs, developers. But big data is a big part of the value proposition in software, whether it's predictive analytics, or other things at the edge of the network on the mobile device. How does the big data cloud, because we talk about Exadata cloud, you can't shy away from big data. Yeah, as, as great as Exadata is for working with structured data sets, the world is fast transforming. There's lots of machine data, social data, web, web logs that customers want to mine for those for that needle in the haystack. They use techniques like Hadoop, Spark processing, NoSQL database processing, and really our big data cloud solution addresses that problem squarely with a Hadoop, Spark, NoSQL capabilities. You know, uh, we do a, a conference every year with uh, the folks at MIT. It's the Chief Data Officer Conference, and their number one issue is data quality. As you look at big data and you look at cloud, what's happening to data quality? <laughs> Seems like the problem maybe is getting even more challenging, and how is Oracle helping CDOs or practitioners address that problem? So Dave, as you know, you know the data, it's garbage in, garbage out, right? So it's all about the quality of the data that you can mine. And as part of that process, the data cleansing, what it's called data wrangling, enrichment, all of that becomes incredibly important. And we have a separate new cloud service that we have just launched called the Big Data Preparation Cloud Service mm -hmm. that takes on that problem squarely so that customers, before they actually mine that data through something like a Hadoop MapReduce processing, can actually ingest that data, cleanse it, do all the data wrangling, enrichment, metadata-based enrichment, 
and actually make sure that high quality data gets in for an analytical processing. So that's a service that you guys provide? You provide that with partners? How does that all work? We provide it on the Oracle Public Cloud and with the Oracle Big Data Cloud service that'll be in the uh, app customer model. That, pr that particular service will be provided there as well. And there's an appliance associated with big data as well, the big data cloud machine. What, what, is, what is that and how does that all work? So what we've done, Dave, is we've taken that simplicity of the, the cloud simplicity, we mapped it to our big data appliance, and we've essentially taken all the integration work, all the secret source that we have put, but we've taken the Exadata secret source, we've ported that to the big data platform, and so all of that fast query processing, all of that unified SQL access through big data SQL, where with a single SQL query, you can span both the Exadata, the NoSQL, the Hadoop, that's, that's something that's incredibly valuable to our customers because they don't have to go query, uh, do analytical processing across multiple data stores, put the results together, and then do additional processing on top of that. There's one fast, secure SQL query they can issue across all their data sources. Sohan, what is that big data secret sauce, and how does that extend and apply into other adjacent appliances like the big data cloud machine? So, with Exadata, what we did was we took the query processing and we pushed it down to the storage. Right. So that queries can run 10 times, some, in some cases 100 times faster. And that proprietary technology we have now brought it to the big data cloud platform. I can, I'm guessing I can't just use any storage. So that is why it has to be in the context of our database, big right. data appliance mm -hmm. and our big data cloud service because that technology is something that we have that's special to us, that's packaged in our cloud service. I see, so the portfolio is getting richer and richer and richer. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of mind boggling. Do you guys think about the different consumers of those various uh, uh, appliances and services? And what, what are the personas that you're seeing emerge as you guys develop this portfolio? Are you, de are you developing those for particular sort of roles? or is it sort of more the traditional IT practitioner? Help us parse well, through that. Well, Dave, what I tell the traditional IT practitioner is you've got to move up the value chain, okay? The days of the DBA, whose primary job was patching systems, backing up systems, I think that day is, is fast disappearing. Dead end. Yeah. Right? They've got to add value. It's really not about storing the data, it's really about what you can do with the data. It's about delivering value to the business and really trying to make data a capital asset, much like any other capital asset. So you know, for example, with Uber, they have surge pricing. Uber has made their data a capital asset where they can base their pricing off of that supply de uh, demand data that's, that's visible in the data capture. Nobody else has that data. And so Uber is uniquely positioned to take advantage of surge pricing. Similarly, I think if you look across different industries, they're going to have a lot of different opportunity to actually, it's not just about storing the data, it's really about what can you do with it. How can it deliver business value? How can you monetize that data? And so that's what we are seeing the data practitioners emerging as, really people who can realize the full potential of the data, people who can promote that data to a capital asset status in an organization. It's a really interesting discussion for two reasons. One is, it used to be data was a liability. Right, and the general well, counsel sort of wanted to get rid of it. Now it's an asset, and the second is that your point about people trying to create Uber, an example, creating competitive advantage. Yes. That's what digitization is all about. Is That's trying exactly to create right. competitive advantage, right? That's exactly right. So let's switch, shift gears a little bit and talk about the uh, updates to your data management on the public cloud. Can you share some significant updates that you guys have on the public cloud um, offering database? Sure, first of all, you know, in our public cloud offering, and you know, also with the cloud of customer offering now, we have a full suite of data management products, everything that spans from departmental and SMB to enterprise to mission critical. So capabilities and price points that span that full spectrum. Also, recently, you know, what, what we are challenged with, you know, amidst all of this is that data doesn't always live in one place. You know, some of our customers have data in other clouds. Some of our customers want to integrate their 
cloud data with on-premises data. So we've just announced the Oracle Golden Gate Cloud Service. The Golden Gate? Oracle Golden Gate is essentially a bi-directional replication service that allows you to send data back and forth. And this, this enables us to integrate multiple clouds on premises and cloud and have data integration across the So you can wrangle all the data yes. from different sources and different platforms Correct. and clouds. It's about bringing that data together. Okay, and the benefits to customers would be what? Just big data analytics, predictive analytics? Well, it's really all of the above because customers need to have connected data. It can be islands. I can have one island of data in cloud A and another island of data in cloud B and yet another island on premises. We need to have connected data in order to be able to bring that data together, mine it, and leverage that asset. So how does that compare to, or is that, the, is that what you refer to as the big data machine? Big data cloud machine. Is there a product that's both of them? Well, the Golden Gate, is in, Golden Gate service is the one that brings all that data together. Got it, okay, so that's the aggregator, if you will. Correct. Does all the processing, ingestion. Yes. Okay, great. I mean, of course, for customers who have large data sets, you know, petabytes of data, we have a bulk data transfer service where we ship them physically uh, a storage array, they load up their data, and then we they ship it FedEx to Oracle, and we can load it into the public cloud within Oracle. All right, so, so talk, we have different formats for customers. If, if, I, if I'm a customer and I say, so and tell me, bottom line, yes. what's, on, what's under the hood? Why is, this, why is this all important to me? What is cloud machine, cloud ed customer, bottom line me? Do I, what do I get new? What's good? What's, what, what, what's, all, what's it all about? Bottom line me. Well, customers today, I think, really demand flexibility. They want it quick. Yeah. They want to subscribe to a service, not have incredible capital expense. They want it to be secure and they want it to be simple. And so if Oracle can take the cloud model, put it on premises, deliver that